Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on this. This is a 10 pound Norway spruce I picked up from a garden center. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you through every single step and show you how we got to this point here. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm really excited, I really love this tree and I can't wait to show you guys um, how we did this. Let's jump straight into it. So the white tips at the end of these roots shows us that the tree is currently growing. So it's a pretty good time. It's a good indicator when doing root work that you know you've got a healthy tree and get away with some root pruning. I think the rain's coming, but I'll show you where we're at now. Um, so this is where I've got the root base down to. I'm trying to discover exactly how far down this thing goes. It's a very sandy soil, which is brilliant because it's coming away really well. Um, but these main roots on top, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is uncover those. I wanna show off some nice roots at the base if I can, nabari as we would say, uh, bonsai terms. So I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, the plan with the root ball is just to leave some of this bottom growth untouched so that the mycelium and the native soil uh, isn't disturbed, at least somewhere in this root ball anyway. So another thing I just want to show you is this is why we might want to dig a little bit further. Can you see the soil level was up to about here in the pot, but just by uncovering that amount, look how much more taper we've got at the start of the tree. It's going to create such a better picture. Here's where the trunk is fattest. And then as I've started to clean up around this side, I have found a nice lateral root right at the bottom. So we are starting to create some sort of nabari here. We've got a weird gnarly <laughs> system here with a knuckle, um, but that could be a feature, who knows? Um, we might end up putting this on a hill. Who knows yet, but this isn't that interesting to watch. So I'll come back to you when it's done. So here we are then. I realize now this has turned into a this segment of the video anyway is about how the roots can determine what kind of tree you're going to go for um i wasn't sure and i didn't pick a design either before i got into this for this reason so are you ready i'm putting it this way to disguise you i found the back and the front of my potential design are you ready bosh look at that can you see it it's kind of more that way i'd say now, let me make sure that you're seeing what I'm seeing. Not really. Can you see this nice, real fat, pretty good tapering trunk that comes up? That's the design we're going for. Um, the gnarled, gnarled up knuckle root is going to be, I've kept it, but it's going at the back. Um, just because, I don't know, I don't have the experience yet to know what to do with it, but I want to leave it there because it's quite chunky and cool. I'll show you. There, you can see that, that sharp bend. I think it's quite cool. Um, so yeah, I've just cleaned it up. This is gonna be our front right here. Boof, 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 boof. No way, spruce. And just so you've got an idea of what kind of, why I've left the bottom so matted, just cause actually we've taken that much root away. So what's next then for the, the 10 pound Parisia that could? Um, Next is me looking at design, some styling, getting on with um, some serious 
branch selection and some big chops, I suppose. I put some pictures up now of what I use for inspiration. I'm looking at an informal upright style Norwegian or Norway spruce. Um, so these are the kind of things I'm thinking. Um, they're good examples of this species. The kind of design that I want to go for, I'll put up on screen now as well. So you can kind of see what I've got going on in my head. Um, for most regular people, I'm sure they could do all of this in one video. For me, this is far too much. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. So um, I'm going to make sure that this tree's safe and we'll come back to it at a later date. All right, good morning, welcome back. Um, day two on the Norway spruce now. You've seen the pictures, you've seen what I've got in my head, what I'm thinking. We're gonna go for a chop, a bit higher than I'd like because you can never put it back on. And from there, we're gonna create some sort of dead wood feature and then find our parting angle and start to just wire some branches down. Let's get into it. So there's the chop. Just in case you didn't believe me. So next we're just going to do some very basic um, initial branch selection. So if we're going for sort of this as our front here, the nice taper and nabari kind of coming up here. We just want to get stuff out of the way that's right in our eye line so this branch can go and then we've got kind of like a welcoming view out of these two this back this one and this one kind of welcoming the viewer and then we work our way up There's a very rough, very, very rough um, look at just how to thin out and create a bit more of a picture of a bonsai tree instead of a bush <laughs> or Christmas tree. Um, so now it's just a bit further pruning. You can kind of see where I'm going for um, with this conical shape. So that's what we're gonna achieve next. Now we've got a bit more of a conical shape. Um, so I'm gonna have to use my brain for this next part. I'm gonna really focus in on the exact front and then from there, which branches to remove further and then we'll do some wiring. A little bit tidier. All right, next is some wiring, let's go. Hello, Mr. Robin. Thanks for coming to say good morning. We're working on this again. All right, morning, guys. It's taken me another, I don't know, three days to get out here and do this. So just in case I run out of time again, what I'm going to do is show you guys making up some soil for this bad boy. We'll get it potted up and then we'll finish in the design, the wiring afterwards. Um, just in case I run out of time, I can't leave it in water any longer. So I'm going to get it potted up. Let's go. So this soil then 
is Akadama, um, 100% molar clay, um, the kitty friend pink absorbent cat litter, um, which I have to say, uh, inspo, I think originally, many people use it, but originally I think I got it from Pavy Sid, so shout out Pavy Sid. Um, and then just a tiny bit of compost because I'm not quite sure that I'm ready to leave compost behind. <laughs> um, something organic in there just to help the tree along. And then lastly, I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to use some of this as well. Again, actually from Pavy Sid. I know this is more for like spring repotting, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll add some of that in as well. And give that a mix as well. Um, a good thing to put in here would be like agricultural grit or like some sort of sandstones. I use like aqua grit. I've had it for a long time. It's the the coloured stuff that I have in here. Um, does the same sort of thing. All right, let's get potted up. vampire steak already coming in use so yeah I'm pretty happy with that I'm just gonna take a couple of these roots Sticking out. Can't believe how well those chopsticks worked. Happy with those. Right. Now, if I need to stop, I can without worrying about it being in water. At least it's pied up now, I see. So I think we can all agree that looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy, I'm happy with that. So now we, I'll pop you back on a time lapse. We're not feeling that well today, so bear with me, but I'm just gonna crack on and get this done and then decide what kind of dead wood we're gonna do at the top. That's the fun part. I've got a branch that won't play ball over here. And then I've got this, and I can't work out if it looks better with or without. So if we can ignore that one for a minute, and then we move on to the top, um, so I'll put a picture up again of the kind of thing. I couldn't find anything that made me think that's what I'm going for. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of make my own thing, which I think is, is a better way to do it anyway. But what I, what I want to do is kind of make this a sharp deadwood feature. So all of these top branches are now going to go. But I've kind of got like, I don't know. There's not much going on on this side, but the back is nice and full. So I don't know. It's going to have to just pan out as we go along. Um, so I'll talk you through the plan initially and then you can watch me do it. We're going to take off the top branches because we know we don't need them anymore. And then we're going to slowly peel back the bark. If I can't reach where I haven't got a good enough view, I may change, uh, but you'll see that in a minute anyway. So let's do it. <laughs>
I've definitely learned a new appreciation for Deadwood today. That was actually quite difficult. Um, but it's helped me to realise a few things about the tree. So this can go. This back branch here can go. Make more of an emphasis on that. And I think I want to bring it down a little bit further. So I think that's the, where I want it, the dead wood. And those two branches now removed, which helps me to realise about this one we were wondering about earlier. That one needs to go as well. So overall, I'm getting pretty happy with this now. Some sort of finishing, tweaking, some last wiring and things like that. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's doing really well. I, I really like it. I hope you guys do as well. So I'm actually thinking I don't like this branch either. Um, so let's get rid of that. Yeah, that was a good call. Um, a bit more tidy enough, I think. perfect no too many guide wires yes definitely but i'm really happy with it i really like it um so if you've got constructive criticism please feel free to leave it um but other than that i like it i really like it there's a bit too much going on over here what can you see yeah but this branch in time i think i need to bring back that way um, other than that, this this branch is maybe a little too long, a bit too thick, but hey, that's what we've got at the minute. It just looks really good. I really like it. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that we dug as far down as we did and found this nice tapering, powerful trunk. So yeah, I think I think I'm happy with it there, guys. I think I like it like that. Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a 360 of it. And we'll wrap this up, I think. So there we are guys, there you have it. Uh, the 10 pound Piscea that could. Um, so yeah, 10 pounds, um, Norway spruce. And we had a 6.99, 6.99 terracotta pot from Italy. I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. I'm happy with it. I like it. So to see what we do with this tree in the future, how it progresses and what comes after this styling wise, um, you're gonna have to hit that subscribe button. You know what to do and a thumbs up really helps you as well so If you liked it, please do press the like button as well. And leave me a comment say something Hopefully it's nice, but hey, there we are Other than that wherever you are in the world make sure you're taking care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye. Bye